Hello, in this tutorial I'll be showing you the basics to color grading your outdoor images or the basics to color grading portraits when it comes to Photoshop. So simply like this video. And don't forget to subscribe if at all you are watching and you're not yet subscribed to this channel. So in this we are going to first of all analyze this very image and simply import it into Photoshop. So just come and right click and come to open with and open with the version of Photoshop that you're using. Or you can simply drag and drop the image into Photoshop after opening up Photoshop and it's going to automatically open up the camera raw filter if at all the image you want to color correct is a raw file. So the very first thing when it comes to color grading your raw images is first of all correcting the lighting and contrast issues before you head into the color grading process. So what we want to do in this case we are simply going to come and take the highlights down of this very image recover the blown out information in the skin tones and we could as well take the whites down to get rid of the hot spots in the image so depending on the image that you are editing always first of all analyze the highlights and correct that first of all then after correcting that you can come and open up the shadows to eliminate the shadows but don't take it all the way up because that is going to make the image lose so much contrast especially in the shadow areas so I'll just come the blacks and take the blacks down and add some contrast to the image so if at all the image is a little bit under exposed you can come the exposure and open up the exposure to your liking so you can see we started here and this is where we are right now so after doing that the next thing is if at all you have greens or the image looks too green especially within the skin tones you can come the tint slider and take the tint towards the opposite of green which is the magenta side and if at all you have more magentas or reds in the image you can use this slider to eliminate the reds in the image so I'm just going to leave this the way it is double click to reset so double click on the pointer to reset it to the default so this is what we have so for my case i feel like the skin tones are having more of the magentas so i just take it towards the green a little bit so after doing that we are going to come to the color mixer and in the color mixer you can notice that we have hue saturation and luminance so hue is basically changing a color so when you come to the blues for example and we change the hues of the blues you can see we are basically changing the blues in the image then the moment you move the slider towards the left hand side you're making that color look like a color on top of it which is the aquas and towards the right hand side we are making a given color look like a color below it which is the purple so you can make the blues more towards the purple side so after doing that or after understanding how hue works or affects the image Saturation is the intensity of a given color. You can increase the, the intensity of the blues or you can as well reduce on the intensity of the blues to your liking. Then luminous is how bright or how dark a color is. So you can see, you can make the blues dark or you can make the blues bright. So that is how these colors are going to be helping you color grade your images. So for this case, what do we want to do? We just want to color grade so if at all you feel like you want the blues to look like a, like the purples in for example her hair we are going to come the hues and simply take the blues towards the purple side but most times make sure that when you're doing this the color is not going to be affecting the sky so if at all you make the blues move towards the purples it's also going to make the sky or the clouds purple so for my case the reason as to why I am able to do this is because the sky is not involved and we don't have clouds right here in this image so I have the liberty to change the blues to look like her hair which is around that point which is the purple side and if I told you want this to blend a little bit more and be uniform you can come to luminous and darken her outfit a little bit more and it's going to make so i'm just going to darken the blues 
in this case so i'm just going to darken the blues further and it's going to make that really matching so you can see where we started and where we are right now so after doing that you can come and man manipulate the greens in this image so we can come to the hues and play around with the green slider to our liking so we just want the greens to pop so i'm just going to take the slider higher towards the aquas and i'll come the yellows and first of all the, so the trick here is first of all move this and see the sweet spot or what works best for you so i'm just going to leave it around negative 55 for the yellows towards the oranges so depending on the image you're working on play around with these sliders and move them to your taste or to your liking so next we are going to come to luminous and darken the oranges to have more contrast within the skin tone so i'm just going to go around negative eight so you can come and open up the exposure a little bit because the image was a little bit underexposed. So you can see this is where we started and this is where we are right now. So the next thing is going to be hitting open to open the image in Photoshop. So in Photoshop basically what we want to do, we want to first of all, the step we are going to be doing right now should be done after you have done the skin retouching on your image so for this after doing skin retouching or retouching the skin the next thing you have to do is having uniform skin tones or having a uniform skin color so after doing skin retouching always come and first of all create a stamp visible layer or a merged layer and you can simply create that layer for windows press shift alternate Control e on the keyboard for mac it is shift option command e on the keyboard to create that stamp visible layer but since i don't have any adjustments right here i'll simply come and duplicate the background layer to imitate or have that feeling of a stamp visible layer and after creating that layer for uniform skin tones or to have colors of skin tones that are matching we are simply going to come to this new layer icon and click on it and after clicking on it come to blend mode and change it from normal and change it all the way down to color and after changing the blend mode simply come and select the layer that we created or the layer that we duplicated or the stamp visible layer then come right here to where you see select and you're going to come to subject and photoshop is going to help us automatically select the subject for us so let's just give it a few seconds and you can see it has done a pretty great job trying to select the subject for us and you're going to be seeing the advantage of doing this so after selecting the subject the next thing is going to be come and select this layer or the empty layer that we created and come to the brushes right click and get the brush tool make sure the hardness set to zero and soft round brush is selected the mode is set to normal opacity and the flat 100% and after doing that zoom into the image by using ctrl plus or you can use command plus on the keyboard so we want the skin to be uniform so in that we just want to copy or sample a given color from the model skin so for this case you can hold down the option key on the keyboard for mac then for windows it is the alternate key on the keyboard and just left click to sample a given color so you can sample from anywhere the face you can sample right there so just choose a color of your choice that you want the rest of the skin to look like and after doing that the next thing is going to be coming and painting on the skin so left click and start painting but remember we are painting while still selected on this empty layer so reduce on the side by using the bracket keys on the keyboard so I'll just come and paint on her skin just like that and you can see right now we are having a uniform skin color and the selection of the subject enables us to remain within the areas that you're trying to paint that is the subject areas and it doesn't make the color spill out of our 
subject so i'm just going to paint just like that so you can zoom in all the way if at all you wish to so that you can be precise with your colors or the areas that you're painting on so increase on the size and i'll just paint on this area so for areas that you are going to be missing out you can always correct those areas as i'll be showing you later on so just take your time as you're trying to paint just like that and if i told you make or made a mistake i'll be showing you how you can easily correct or rectify that error or mistake so you can zoom in because the area we're trying to paint on so don't paint on the eyebrows or the hair because that is going to make it look a little bit odd and not nice at all or appealing so just paint on the skin so make sure that each and every area that has skin has been painted on to have the best results so i have painted on majority of the areas that have skin so if at all you accidentally missed out on a given area i'm about to show you how you can easily correct that area so make sure you zoom in and make sure that most of the areas have been painted well and thoroughly so you can see these areas hadn't been painted so that is the advantage of zooming all the way in when you're trying to paint on the skin so right now the skin looks okay and it looks even but there are some areas we did not paint in the first place so in order to paint all in those areas simply deselect this selection by pressing ctrl d or you can press command d on the keyboard to deselect the active selection you can now zoom in and look for those areas so with the brush tool still selected simply use a small brush and be careful and paint just like that on those areas just like that you can see this area hadn't been painted because it was more highlighted so command z to undo that area so i'm just going to paint just like that so i'm basically trying to correct the areas that i may not have painted you can see this other hand hadn't been painted initially these edges also hadn't been painted so i'll just come and paint on these areas so to correct the areas that you may have accidentally missed out or painted just come and get the eraser tool right here and change the, the mode to brush opacity at 100 percent flat 100 percent so if at all you had painted on a given area use the eraser tool and simply rub away the effect from that given area so from this outfit area you can also come and rub away from these areas just like that and by just doing this you can see that we are having even skin color or skin tones for our subject so if at all you hadn't painted on a given area press b on the keyboard to activate the brush tool once again and you can correct that area so you can see that we hadn't painted right there so command minus to zoom out so right now the skin looks nice and even and the skin tones are uniform but this is a little bit overdone and it is too much so always come the opacity and remember to reduce on the opacity to your liking so i'm just going to go with around an opacity of around 63 so that's the before after and when you feel like the skin tone is a little bit too much or overdone you can always come right here to the adjustments and simply come to hue and saturation and click on master select the reds because skin tones are part of the reds and simply come to the lightness and take down the lightness so that the skin doesn't look over saturated so you can see this is a before and after and now the skin is looking more natural so to add a tiny bit of contrast just come and create a black and white adjustment layer and come to where you see normal change the blend mode from normal to multiply and remember the multiply blend mode is going to 
always darken. Just calm the opacity and reduce on the opacity to around 3 looks great. So after doing this, you can as well add that kind of cinematic vibe to your image. So just come and create a selective color adjustment layer and select the blacks. So come to science and take up the science to make the image more cinematic. So at around 10, 10 is okay. And if at all you want to add more contrast to the blacks, you can as well come and increase on the blacks. But for this case, I don't want to increase on the blacks because that will make me lose out on the information in the shadow areas. So this is what we have been able to achieve. So to spice up the image once more, you can simply come and add a given shine or glow to the image or to the skin. So how do we do that? Just come to the adjustments and create a curves adjustment layer. Then just come right here and simply drag this white pointer towards the left hand side until when you notice that the highlights are a little bit glowing or overexposed or def well defined rather double click on this layer icon to open up the, the layer style dialog box right here and simply come to blend if make sure it is set to gray come to the underlying layer so for this case we just want to take the effect away from the bright areas of the image so rather we just want only the effect to affect the bright area so we just want to remove the effect from affecting the dark areas so come to underlying layer and take the underlying layer slider high so we have to stop at the point where by the bright areas or the highlights are the only areas affected in this case hold down the option key on the keyboard or the option key on the keyboard and left click on this pointer on the right hand side and split so that the effect can blend well or better into the image hit ok and come to this curves adjustment layer press command i or you can use ctrl i on the keyboard to invert the effect come and get the brush tool and make sure it is a soft round brush make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches if at all you have any other random color press d on the keyboard to reset this to black and white and make sure white is the foreground color so with that done you can now zoom into the image and after zooming in simply increase on the size of the brush by using the box bracket keys on the keyboard and only paint on the highlights of the image just paint on what you feel are the highlights of the image just like that and by just doing this this is going to improve your portraits and make them outstanding and better so you can say before after before after if you feel the effect is too much always calm the opacity and reduce it to your liking so basically this is how i would recommend you to color grade your images or your portraits when it comes to photoshop and if at all you have enjoyed this simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you're watching and you are not yet subscribed to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and i'll see you in yet more videos on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating